Oh, it's a bloody good day. Manchester United, Manchester United. Let's go ahead and get started with another freaking tutorial. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I like to talk in bloody British. Oh, it's on the telly, governor. All right, but let's talk about the notifications. So these are the notification buttons right here. And as you can see, whenever you roll over them, they move a little bit. And then this one is similar to the one I have on my website where whenever you hover over it it tells you all of your notifications like who liked your post who commented on your picture stuff like that so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the footer entire notifications section so what I'm about to style this notifications ID is this entire notification section so not each of these individual pictures but the entire section overall where I'm circling right here now of course this excludes the logout button the logout button is something different we're gonna be styling that later but anyways the first thing you want to do is you want to float this to the right and this is what makes this appear on the right hand side of the toolbar rather than with all these buttons over here so now let's go ahead and just do some basic self-explanatory stuff the width auto the margin is going to be for this one 5 pixels 15 pixels and 0 pixels now whenever you have three values in the margin what this means is 5 pixels for the top 15 pixels for the left and right and zero pixels for the bottom and of course that's probably going to be different depending on um, the size of your notification icons but for mine these work now for the padding I just want to make sure that this is zero pixels so we can go ahead and type that in and for overflow we'll just go ahead and set this as hidden just in case anything is overflowing so again this is the entire notification section all of these icons combined so now what I want to do is I want to set the style for each notification icon so this Twitter image I don't even know what this is uh, the RSS feed and the Facebook icon these are actually um icons that I got from uh, Code Canyon or whenever I got them. Well, anyways I'm getting off track here alright so that's why I'm styling each individual icon so footer of course whoa I didn't know that when I press this button on my mouse. Cool. Anyways. <laughs> See, look, I'm like a five-year-old kid. I'm like, ooh, a flutter buy. Okay. Ooh, a dollar. Okay. I can't pay attention to math today. Someone else is wearing orange shoes. What the heck am I talking about? Okay, so each of these icons are actually a list item. Of course, with everything else in this GD thing, this entire thing is an unordered list and these pictures are items in that list so again these are the individual list or excuse me um pictures so the first thing I want to do is I want to set a margin right of 12 pixels not playstations pixels now what this means is you're gonna have space between this icon and this icon if you didn't set this value then all of these little icons would be butted up right against each other and it would look like kind of a caterpillar or something like that and we don't want that so go ahead and tweak this value somewhere between 12 and 15 looks pretty good to me the next thing we want to do is float left now you guys are probably saying whoa we really don't want to do that because then they would appear over here right wrong remember we took the entire section and our entire notification section is float to the right so all of these icons are gonna be stuck on the right hand side just within this section each individual individual icon is gonna float to the left and this is important because if you didn't have this then first of all they would appear in weird order and they might appear under each other like regular HTML rather than side by side now let's just go ahead and set some housekeeping stuff the width wow that was actually pretty embarrassing 24 pixels padding 0 pixels height oh so this is 32 pixels and of course this um these settings are going to be determined 
I'll, I'll give you guys the files to my uh, icons, but largely on how big your icons are. And you can actually, instead of using images, you can actually just make it in uh, CSS, like have numbers or a cool background. But anyways, we'll get to that later on. And the last thing, list style none. Because remember, one last time, these, even though they look like pictures, they are actually list items. So if we had, you know, um, a little bullet point on these, it would look pretty freaking stupid. So that's why you need to set list style to none to ensure that you don't have any bullet points or anything like that. And in the next video, what I'm going to be doing, actually, I can just go ahead and code this real quick. Copy this, paste that, and set the property of hover. Now what we want to do is we want to put margin top negative one pixel. Now what this does is it adds the hover property and says okay whenever you hover over these elements move it negative one pixel which means if you had one pixel it would move it down from the top but since you have negative one it would actually push it up. So that is why whenever we hover over it I don't know if you guys can see on the YouTube video but it's actually moving up one pixel. Okay, that is all you guys get for uh, this video. But anyways, thank you guys for... <laughs> oh man, I need to find a cooler hobby or something. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.